Hi, my name is Asha Gomez. Welcome to my video series where we blend the flavors of India into a southern kitchen. I hope you enjoy this collection that we have put together for you. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Asha Gomez. We are going to make a really fun, interesting dish today. We just named it. It's called Wonder Filled Bread. Let me tell you how this dish came about. I was trying to make some beef croquettes the other day. Got everything all set, made my filling, set it aside, go into my pantry to look for breadcrumbs, and there were no breadcrumbs, and there were no eggs, and I was too lazy to go to the grocery store. When I turned around, I saw there was a loaf of bread, sliced bread. My mom was here from India at the time, and she goes, you know, mole, which means daughter in my language. She's like, mole, try using the bread, and I looked at her really confused. I said, mom, what do you mean try using the bread? She goes, soak it and then use it. It made sense. And you can use different things to fill it. Today, we're going to use some ground sirloin. I have about a pound of ground sirloin here. I have one gala apple. It's fall. Let's throw some apples in there. Some red onions, cilantro. And we're going to use some spices in here. A little bit of cayenne, some turmeric, and garam masala. And garam masala essentially is the only spice blend that we have in India. When you think curry powder, we don't have anything in India that's curry powder. It's a very European or Caribbean thing. When we say curry, it's anything that has two or more spices that has a sauce. And that could be tens of thousands of variations. So um, I'm excited to show you this dish. Let's get our beef and apples cooking. So I'm gonna turn, um, I have a saute pan here, and I turn it on, it's actually not a saute pan. I have a pan, an enameled pan here, but you can use a saute pan for this. I'm gonna turn the flame on high. I need very little bit of oil, very little oil on this. We're gonna need like a cup and a half of oil after to deep fry these. So I'm just gonna take maybe a tablespoon of a little bit of olive oil because the beef has enough of a fat content in it. I don't want to put too much oil. Let that heat up for a minute. I chopped um, a gala apple. You could use a Granny Smith if you want, or Macintosh if you want, um, and some red onions, and a half a bunch of cilantro. Kind of a rough chop on all of it. And it's going to go right in here. The cilantro smells really good. Something about fresh herbs, just so special. I want the onions to kind of cook through and get translucent before I add my beef to it. So I'm gonna let it go for a minute. Like I said, it's gonna feel like you don't have enough fat in the pan because I put so little. But once that beef comes in, the beef has enough fat to kind of take it, uh, put it all together. For spices, I'm gonna take about a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, not a lot. We're gonna do a teaspoon of garam masala, a touch of chili powder, cayenne. I want a slight heat, but I don't want a lot of heat. And I definitely wanna add some garlic powder. So a nice teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix that all up. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my beef. So I have a sirloin cut here. It's an 80-20 on the fat ratio. You don't want anything too fatty for this. I'm gonna use a pink chameleon. You can use kosher salt or your regular salt, whichever works for you. And you wanna cook this till the beef is cooked through. And then you're gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna show you how to make the little wonder-filled pockets. So we got our beef cooked. 
I trimmed off the edges as a regular white sliced bread. Here we go. This is some milk. So I'm gonna, don't dip it completely. I'm gonna lightly soak it. And then you wanna make sure you squeeze it all out. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take some of that filling. Put it right in the center and fold in the bread. And then you're going to pinch it to get it all together. Right. Make that to a nice little ball right there and we'll deep fry them. Perfect. So I just soaked it, lightly soaked it, squeezed it out, and got my stuffing of apples. Think of the possibility, right? I mean, Nutella and banana in here. I gotta make that for my Ethan soon, because that boy loves bananas and Nutella. But like this in a surprise little pocket, just slice some um, bananas and do some Nutella in there. What else? Ricotta cheese and fresh strawberries with honey. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Um, or any kind of stuffing. You can do it with turkey, make a vegetarian one, Let's do some cabbage, make it with cabbage, cauliflower. And if you wanted to add some color to this particular recipe, you could add some frozen peas to it. I didn't have any in the freezer, otherwise I would have added them to it. So in a frying pan right now, I have about a cup and a half of oil heating up in a small frying pan, non-stick frying pan. So now that we've stuffed them, I have, like I said, a cup and a half of oil in a little pan. Uh, heat it up and I'm going to put it the side that I binded it. That's the side that's going to go down first And I have two forks here with me Flip it So you just want to kind of get it nice and golden brown all around and see how fast that happens. All right, this one's ready, come out. So is this one. Look at how perfect they are. And it puffs up just a little bit because of the yeast in the bread. I'm gonna cut one open and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. And it's got a nice crunch on the outside from the bread. I mean, look at that! Look. What are you gonna make in your kitchen? I hope you make this dish in your kitchen because it's so fun and there's so much you can do with it. Happy cooking.